Now I'm going to one hot encode the features. I use the dot unique command to see just one of each value that is taken by the cap surface column. And I see that this column takes the values S, Y, F, and G. What I'm going to do with one hot encoding is create a new column for each of these values. When I do this command, I'm going to do this using, I'm going to do this using the pandas get dummies command. There's an optional argument to this command, which I would like to use, and that will make the column name include the prefix that I'm saying here. So what does this look like? I've created this variable encoded cap surface columns using the get dummies command. And if you look at it, the first one, there are four columns. There's cap surface F, cap surface G, cap surface F, and cap surface Y. And if there's a one in a particular column, that tells you what the original value was. So in this zeroth row, observation zero had cap surface equal to S. So you can recover, there's going to be a one in the column if the feature took that value. I'm going to join those columns to the original data frame. You can see the correspondence again here. For instance, in the third observation of cap surface, there is a Y value. Then when you look at the one hot encodings of this column, you will see a one only in the column that corresponds to cap surface Y. So that's the big idea of one hot encoding. You add a new column for each value that your original column took and you use ones and zeros to indicate the original value. As we've extracted the information, we could drop the cap surface column, and then we could do the same encoding with the cap shape column and go on to build our model. One hot encoding is simple and easy to use, and it replaces the data in a way that can't introduce any bias or misrepresentation. Unfortunately, it does create a lot of columns. And if there's a natural ordering to your original categorical data, one hot encoding will not pick that up. So be aware of these things if you decide to use one hot encoding. We don't want to do what we did before by hand for every single column. There are just too many columns and the entire reason that we work with computers is to be able to do things more automatically. So let's go back and look at how we got a dummy column, added a column to the original frame, dropped the original column from the data frame. To do this automatically, we could write a function called one hot encode, which takes as arguments df and column and simply does what we wanted it to do. It gets the dummy for the particular column, it joins the columns that were encoded, and then it drops the original column. This function that I've just written works for one single column. Now that I have something that works to one hot encode a single column, I could then scale it up and make it work on multiple columns. That would be done just by adjusting the arguments so that now I have a list of multiple columns instead of a single column. And I can use a for loop to get all of the columns I'm talking about and then just one hot encode each column.